This video is sponsored by Blinkist. The Phrygian dominant scale, or the Phrygian dominant mode, is just like the regular Phrygian scale, however it has a major third, rather than Phrygian's usual minor third. As you can hear, this scale has an intriguing, exotic, mysterious sort of sound, and a lot of that sound comes from the unusual minor third, or more accurately, augmented second interval, between these two notes. Most Western scales only use steps of semitones and tones, so this wider interval of three semitones gives the Phrygian dominant scale a curious, unusual sound. We call the scale Phrygian dominant because it's just like the regular Phrygian scale, however because it has this major third here, rather than the typical minor third, we can now build a dominant seventh chord on the tonic note, hence Phrygian dominant. Phrygian dominant isn't a very common choice in pop and rock songs, however when it is used it will be fairly easy to notice due to this distinct exotic sound. For example, 46 and 2 by Tool uses D Phrygian dominant to cast its eerie mood. Analyzed by Tom York is in C Phrygian dominant. In this passage, we can see all of the character notes of Phrygian dominant. Phrygian dominant is exactly the same as the major scale, however, it has a flat 6, flat 7, and flat 2. Dream Brother by Jeff Buckley is in G Phrygian dominant. And for something completely different, both the songs Naughty Girl and Beautiful Liar by Beyonce are using the Phrygian dominant scale. As we can see from these Beyonce songs, the Phrygian dominant scale can yield some really interesting chord progressions. It's one of the only scales where we would have a major tonic chord with a major flat 2 chord and a minor flat 7 chord. As you can probably tell by how it sounds, the Phrygian dominant scale is commonly used in Arabic and Middle Eastern music, where they refer to the scale as Makam Hajaz. <laughs> Phrygian dominance common use in Middle Eastern music has led to Western composers and songwriters reaching for it as an easy way to evoke a Middle Eastern sound. For example, Muse use it in the instrumental interlude of United States of Eurasia to add a Middle Eastern flavour to the music. Killing an Arab by The Cure also uses Phrygian dominant to evoke that Arabic Middle Eastern sound. Some songs switch between Phrygian dominant and the regular Phrygian scale. As I mentioned before, the only difference between these two scales is the third. The Phrygian dominant has a major third and the regular Phrygian scale has a minor third. So it's very easy to blend these just by switching which note we're using as the third. Pyramid Song by Radiohead switches between using F-sharp Phrygian dominant and F-sharp Phrygian. Throughout the song we get that trademark Phrygian sound of the flattened second degree, but the switch between the minor third of Phrygian and the major third of Phrygian dominant introduces different shades of brightness and darkness to the music. and I imagine it's the Arabic sound of the Phrygian scale which inspired this song's name. White Rabbit by Jefferson Aeroplane does the same thing, switching between F-sharp Phrygian dominant and F-sharp Phrygian. With the bass vamping simply between the tonic note and the flat second, the tonality swings between Phrygian and Phrygian dominant simply due to whether the guitar plays the major or minor third.
We'll continue with the Phrygian dominant scale in one moment, but first I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor, which is Blinkist. Blinkist offers a collection of over 5,000 non-fiction books, boiled down into easy-to-understand podcasts. The idea with Blinkist is, rather than spending hours listening to entire audiobooks, you can instead listen to these carefully condensed 15-minute lessons, which gives you the essential points of the book. This can not only be a quick way to learn a wide breadth about a topic in a relatively short time, but it can also help you zero in on which books you want to read further at a later time. I think it's actually a bit like educational videos on YouTube versus traditional lectures. Whereas a classroom lecture on odd time signatures or modes might be over an hour long, educational videos like mine on YouTube condense that information down into easy to digest 10 to 15 minute lessons. Rather than reading a full book, Blinkist can give you an understanding of a topic quickly and smoothly so you can then broaden your knowledge and discover more about what you want to learn. All premium users of Blinkist also get to use Blinkist Connect, where they can share their account with another person, effectively meaning you're getting two premium accounts for the price of one. To start a free trial of Blinkist, follow the link down below in the description. A song often wrongly cited as being in Phrygian dominant is Dick Dale's version of Missaloo. Missaloo actually uses a very similar scale, known as the double harmonic scale, which is almost identical to the Phrygian dominant, apart from it has a raised leading tone, a raised seventh. However, interestingly, even though Dick Dale's version of Missaloo is not using the Phrygian dominant scale, Missaloo is actually a traditional folk melody, and some versions of that traditional melody do use the lowered seventh degree of Phrygian dominant. Now, as I mentioned very briefly before, Phrygian dominant is not just a scale, but it's also a mode. It's the fifth mode of the harmonic minor scale. A mode is when you take a scale, in this case the harmonic minor scale, and then treat a different note as the tonic. So, for example, if we take the scale of A harmonic minor, but then treat the fifth note, E, as the tonic, as the root note of the scale, then we now have an E Phrygian dominant scale. Both A harmonic minor and E Phrygian dominant use the exact same set of seven notes, but by treating a different note as the tonic note, as the centre of gravity, it gives the music a different sound, a different tonality. The verse of Innuendo by Queen pivots between E Phrygian dominant and G sharp Phrygian dominant, lending the song its dark exotic sound. We also hear the Phrygian dominant scale at work in Innuendo's middle flamenco section. Phrygian dominant is closely associated with Spanish flamenco music, being one of the main scales used in the style. In Spain, Phrygian dominant is often referred to as Escala Andalusia, or the Andalusian scale. Andalusia being the southern region of Spain where flamenco music originates from. It's interesting how in flamenco music we can really see the modal element of Phrygian dominant at work. For example, a common chord progression in flamenco music is the Andalusian cadence, named as such because it's associated with the style. It's actually the chord progression that Queen use here for Innuendo's flamenco section. This Andalusian cadence chord progression occurs in many pop and rock songs. For example, we can also see it here in Good Vibrations by the Beach Boys. And here in Runaway by Dow Shannon. However, what's interesting is when this chord progression is used in pop and rock music, we treat the first chord in the progression as the tonic chord, meaning we have a progression of 1, 7, 6, 5 in A minor. So in this context, the progression is not in E Phrygian dominant, but in A harmonic minor. However, in flamenco music, it's the last chord of this chord progression that's considered to be the tonic chord, meaning that we have chords 4, 3, 2, 1 in E Phrygian dominant. 
the exact same chord progression in both examples, but by treating a different chord as the tonic, we are hearing it in two different modes, harmonic minor and Phrygian dominant. Break It To Me by Muse is another good example of the modal quality of Phrygian dominant. Break It To Me has a verse in B Phrygian dominant and a chorus in E harmonic minor. And the reason that this is noteworthy is because E harmonic minor and B Phrygian dominant have the same notes, they are modes of each other. So the verse and chorus of the song do use the same set of seven notes, but in the verse section, B is being treated as the tonic note. And in the chorus, E is being treated as the tonic note. So the verse is in B Phrygian dominant, and the chorus is in E minor. The Jewish traditional melody Hava Nagila is another good example of Phrygian dominance modal quality. The first section of Hava Nagila is using E Phrygian dominant. However, later in the song, the note A begins to be treated as the tonic note. Because A harmonic minor and E Phrygian dominant are modes of each other, they're the same scale but with a different note treated as the tonic, all we have to do to switch between the E Phrygian dominant sound and the A harmonic minor sound is change whether we're treating E as the tonic note or A. I'll leave you today with this piece of music that I've composed entirely in E Phrygian dominant.